Hi, my name is Natalia Anderson and you're watching Tuneful TV. Today I'm going to be reviewing episode 6 of The Voice UK. But before we get started, let's have the shout out. Shout out to Aurel Gajonkajad. Aurel Gajonkajad. Gajonkajad. Shout out to Paige Smith, Kazaya and Ridley Woodward, Anna Gudenyek. And a special happy birthday to my dear friend, Rookie Garuba. Right, let's get started with the people who did not get through. Paul Phoenix. <laughs> he looks like he should be on a Spanish telenovela. Maldita sea. Trying to, trying to see what he's going for. His voice isn't a bad voice. I'm just thinking that he's got a character there, like his whole look and the style of singing. I'm wondering if he's like kind of playing up to a, a character. And if he's not, he should, you know, some kind of crooner. He sounds like really croony, but in a kind of tongue in cheek way, which is how I'm taking it. He should be in a soap opera. Yeah, telenovela. He needs to be in one of those <laughs> as the local singer, Lothario guy, who had an affair with his brother's mother-in-law. And then they uh, end up in hospital and someone is trying to blackmail him to find out about his affair. And then he has to sell, he loses money, he's got to sell his, um, his land, but it's to his enemy who wants, who's having an affair with his wife. <laughs> Mario Wolfgang. He's given me James um, Morrison. It's me you need to say? <laughs> he wasn't articulating very well. It's me you need to show. It's me you need to show, show, show. I mean, he went from his lower register up into the falsetto, so he was showing different elements of his singing capabilities, but I don't know, maybe it wasn't interesting enough. Oh, Julie Williams. Love this song. I like the energy, I liked her voice, she's got that lovely huskiness. I don't know why they didn't turn for that. I think that was a really fun performance. Jordan Gray. Very interesting voice. Full of character. That should have went, man. That should have went. So talented. I'm getting Mika vibes as well. Maybe it's that sitting at the piano and that sort of theatrical performance. This is how you connect with a song. This is how you really truly understand the song you're singing and your delivery therefore is uh, just completely in one on the same level. Jordan completely nailed this performance. It's a shame that we don't have someone like Jordan on the show because this is the voice. It's a shame that she didn't make it through, but hopefully this will be a springboard into much bigger things. Mike Berry. Really nice. Really nice voice, Mike. Oh, Mike, what can I say? It's that same thing again, a mature voice singing an old school song and they're not gonna turn. It's a shame, it's a real shame. I don't know, you know, why, why, why? Why is it happening? Should they be changing what they're doing in order to get a turn or should they stick to what they already know, which is, these sorts of old school songs and whatnot. I don't know what the answer is, but again, we miss out on hearing an older person progress through the competition because obviously it's because of their age. Tom Reed Wilson. I loved him. <laughs> this guy. I wanted to 
to be my friend. I like him a lot. <laughs> Performance gave me so much joy, and this guy, oh, he's so adorable and lovely, just a great personality. Unfortunately, he didn't get through because really his vocals could have been stronger. Now, for the people who did get through Mia Sylvester, and now she's come back on the show and she nailed it. She even did much better than what she did last year. So beautiful. She starts off quite gently. And slowly, she's bringing it up. Watch her, watch her now. She should, I, I forgot if the others turned for it and they didn't, it was just Ricky. She totally should have got more turns than that. That performance was up there with the four turners. Scott and Vicky. Actually, these guys can represent me at Eurovision. Us. Great harmonies. I've got with this song I really do like them a lot the only issue I had with this performance is that they harmonized the entire way through which gave it for me a bit of a samey samey feel if I think that if they came in on the second verse with one of them singing a line and then the other responding to that line and then coming back together again I think that would have made it a bit more interesting but Apart from that, that was a very good performance, in my opinion. Scott and Vicky. Ellie Cripps. Look at that fro. Look at that. Carspiration right there. Okay, first of all, she's a shut up and take my money kind of girl. For me. For me, you know. Gorgeous. Oh, you got the feeling that I want. She's serving me everything. Get your life, girl. Yes. Beautiful tone. Yes. Um, I think just she's just got to be careful with parts of it sounded a bit off, but I really like her performance and I really like her as a person. I really like her tone. I really like her delivery. I really like what she's serving me. JJ Soul X. Beautiful. Yes, sister. <laughs> she just reminded me of um, Flower Tree. Remember Flower Tree? Uh, loved her. I think she just needed to tighten up a bit on certain parts. I love her package. I love what she's delivering, okay? She's thought out, she knows what she's doing, she knows her avenue, and she's nailing it for me. So I'm very, very pleased with her. Wick Snowden. Rock boys. <laughs> Give him the axle rose. <laughs> he was 
doing like the equivalent of like Mariah Carey going up and down, <laughs> doing all the runs. That one was like more of a showcase performance, like saying, here I am, I'm just gonna give you what I got in my bag and you're gonna love it. I've got all of these different tones, I've got, I can, I know my voice, I'm working it, I know how to work a room, I know how to be centre of attention. This guy is really accomplished. He's got more to offer as well, definitely, definitely. Brilliant performance, well done for a rock voice for getting through, you know. That's actually, I, I don't have anything bad to say about him as well. Normally, I'm so hard on my rock guys. Theo Llewellyn. I loved this performance. I'm really happy that Theo got through because he's got a really great voice. I just love the tone in his voice. I love the song choice. It's just one of my favorite songs. And I even remember back in season two, Adonike, shout out. She did it, she didn't get through with this song, but she had a really good um, moment singing that song. Why doesn't anyone do the jungle version? Oh, who remember, remembers Sweet Love? <laughs> <laughs> this is the version I want to hear! Jolan! To <laughs> He's getting more confident as this song's going on. And he's getting better. He's like a male Anastasia. <laughs> Which is a compliment, people, because she's got great vocals. Really, really good performance. It looked like he was having fun. He knew the song inside out. He knew what, how he was going to put it across, and it really, really did work. Yes, I think, is there just one more episode of the Blind Auditions? I'm not entirely sure. Um, maybe next week will be the last Blind Audition episode, because the teams are filling up right now. Thanks for watching my review of The Voice episode 6. Make sure you subscribe to my channel uh, by clicking here so that you can be notified when I upload a video which will be every week. So I will see you next week. Bye!